कलेक्टिव एक्सपीरियंस देख रहे हैं आप स्टेज पे सालों का है दशकों का है एक बार जोरदार तालियां इस टीम के लिए लेस जर्मन कल की टू एट नाइन एट एडी वाव आई एम जस्ट आई एम नाउ टेकिंग दिस मोमेंट इन फॉर अ लिटिल बिट वाव आई जस्ट नेवर नेवर थॉट आई बी ऑन स्टेज विथ लाइक दिस थैंक यू सर एक्चुअली थैंक यू नागी फॉर नॉट हैविंग मी इन द फिल्म बट हैविंग मी डू ऑल दिस सर आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ यू सर व्हेन नागी फर्स्ट केम एंड वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट द आईडिया दिस वाज मच बिफोर एनी ऑफ दिस मटेरियलाइज्ड he was it's kalki you we all know about the coming of an avatar we've heard it through childhood as stories and a filmmaker actually trying to make that in the science fiction world and had imagined you on day 1 as the ashwatthama so what was your reaction to that when nagi came and explained to me the idea uh, for a long time after he'd left i was thinking what the hell has nagi been drinking to think of something like this it was absolutely something outrageous and with some of the visuals that you've seen just now it's just unbelievable to uh, to have somebody conceive a project uh, which is so futuristic and so possible and during the making of the film we realized that uh, no matter what he thought of he actually got all the material all the effects every kind of visual or vision that he had and and that really has been an amazing experience for me to be just a part of it uh, has been an experience i'll never forget thank you sir thank you so much sir over to you i mean your veterans are really small word and encyclopedia also felt like a silly word once i said it in your plethora of cinema you watched so many filmmakers grow create different roles with you this was science fiction and it had mythology in its play and it had a filmmaker who was really young and if all of you know the looks of nagi he doesn't look anything like a filmmaker uh, i'll tell you a truth today is actually a lost kid from shambhala who grew up in hyderabad so how did he actually narrate this to you sir and what was your reaction with it uh, i'm used to this kind of uh, ordinary looking people who do extraordinary things my boss my mentor was one such man he he looked like a government official i thought he would, first thing if he enters any house you'll think it's an income tax raid that's how it looked but uh, i've seen what he was capable of from the kind of films he did i think ek dooje ke liye was his 60th or 70th film so i am quite i was not surprised i i don't underestimate these ordinary looking guys they have a depth to them that doesn't show unless you talk to them and i did have the opportunity of talking to him man a few words and uh, that's about uh, the, the succinct way of putting forward your idea if it extends to movies great ideas will translate better it's it when it's when they don't know how to present it that great ideas become ordinary movies but this guy knew how to present an idea which as uh, amit ji said you first thing you want to ask is what have you been smoking or what have you been drinking but that that's how great ideas are formed i mean ordinary people will doubt it and then they'll start respecting it i could see a bit of that and uh, my only i was moaning backstage to uh, <laughs> amiji about i always wanted to play bad man because the bad man gets to do all the good things in films <laughs> where the heroes are singing romantic songs and waiting for the heroine where he can just go ahead and do what he wants but i thought i'm going to play the bad man so it's going to be fun but then like uh, he wanted to be different and i'm almost like a sage in the film with, with a bad idea <laughs> sir and the look you had there was one shot of you in the promo and then that just stunned pretty much the whole country and you have so many different looks that you consistently keep creating i remember nagi before he took the flight for the look test 
He was saying, dude, I'm feeling really silly. What am I going to talk to Mr. Kamlasan about look and get up? I'm just going to ask him to do it. Let, can we know how that happened? That's what he told you, but yeah. we kept talking about it. Because yes. we had a lot to talk about and also not look like something else, which I've done already, or somebody else has done already. Now, I, I thought I have a fantastic idea. I had not seen any of the images of this film. So I thought I would dress myself up in such a way people will turn around and look at me. And I got an idea. I would do some research and come, oh, that Amaji is doing that. <laughs> what you came up <laughs> with, <laughs> he's already doing it. Then I'll go cursing myself and I'll think about it. And then I'll say, I'll come with an armor. Oh, that Prabhas has got. So I, 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 I didn't want to be pregnant in the film. <laughs> Otherwise, I would, have, <laughs> I would have tried that as well. But uh, then finally, I with... <laughs> but with a good director, even that is possible. Yeah. But this get up took a long time. We traveled to LA, failed a couple of times before we arrived on the first uh, acceptable look for the director. So I think uh, it's, it's a collaboration and, and I think and hope, still uh, hoping that the audience will react the same way as we did when we saw the first look. Awesome, sir. Thank you. We went over to you. I don't know. You, okay. It's, you are now one of the biggest names in cinema, clearly. What is it like working with okay, one, two, three? Dude, what, what do you do on set? What's your... Yeah. First, I should thank uh, producer and... We Maria. touch each other's feet. <laughs> it never allows me to do that, but I... I <laughs> Prabhas, be honest now. <clears throat> yeah. They're sorry. all ragging you, Nubha. I, I can yeah. see that. I can see that. You're pulling his leg. Mm -hmm. He is my friend's an introvert, sir. He's <laughs> very all powerful in the movies, but he's really an introvert and sweet man. No, no, but what's wrong with touching his feet? <laughs> 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 Tell me, boss, what's up? How is it working with, I think, line on each? Yeah. So I should thank um, Dadgar and Nagir for giving me opportunity to work with such greatest legends. It's like bigger than dream. And I don't know what to say. I was like, first I met <laughs> Amitabh sir and I touched his feet. He said, don't do it. If you do it, I'll do it. I said, sir, please. I can't even think. <laughs> See, we grew up watching you. My uncles had your hairstyle. He's the first actor in the country who reached every part of the country. South, North, we all know in Telugu, Tamil, you know, we, had, we saw like Amitabh Bachchan's hairstyle, that hairstyle, tall, any tall people, they call Amitabh Bachchan. In South, he's the, he's the first actor, I think, who reached like that. And Kamal sir, I, when his Sagar Sangam came, I, want, I, I asked my mother, I want his dress. My cousins, if he had, Indru Chandru, he had a tummy, and they used to put a cloth on his, their stomach, and they used to act in front of us. Like, see, and I'm working with them. This is like something unbelievable, and uh, thank you, sir. And the lovely lady to your left. So sorry. <laughs> yeah, and the, the figure, I always wanted to... The fact to that he has said more than two sentences, we should, we should big be one. celebrating. Please, big round of applause, please. Yeah. So, yeah, Zivka, I wanted to work with her always, and uh, some, some actress, actors who can reach around the, such an international level and such a beautiful, gorgeous and superstar and a great actress. And it's beautiful to work with you. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it, I think. Actually, I'm like this because of all the food he's fed me. <laughs> okay, let's start by Don't talking about that. Did all of you all eat great food on set? Uh, no? Yes, courtesy. This man? Yes. Every day. And it got to a point where it wasn't you just food ate. coming from home. There was like full catering service. So the highlight of the day almost became what is Prabhas feeding everyone. And for those who know him well, know um, that he feeds from the heart. So, Awesome. So Deepika, when I was speaking to Nagi, I said, who do I talk about? 
the story and who should reveal most things. He said, I think Deepika should speak about it. So we see you carrying, I mean, at first, at first I thought you were like really in character trying to do this, but can you talk about your role and the film? Why? Why? You didn't ask any of them that question. But I know, Nagi put that in me. He said, she is the one you should ask. Can't. I think he said a lot about the movie and the, and the worlds. But I, I mean, I think what I can definitely say is that um, it's, it's unlike anything we've experienced or seen before. So even when I, I remember doing the narration for this through COVID, and Nagi was on Zoom and I was on the other end. And um, I think much like uh, Kamal sir said, you know, you can see, you could see sparks of genius in him, even though this is just his second or third movie. Um, you could tell that it was, as he was narrating, there wasn't much on paper, but it was all in his mind. And every time he spoke and you look, and even now, when you look into his eyes, you can see that, you know, the entire visual of what he's envisioned over the years is so clear. And that's the only time, and I mean it in a good way, where you actually hear him speak and speak so articulately because that's the one thing that he's just completely consumed by and, you know, passionate about. And, um, but yes... Uh, I mean, I, I really don't know. Very honestly, to your question, I don't know how much I can and cannot say. But yes, I I I, I play the mother, and uh, yeah, and then the movie is out on the twenty seventh for everyone to discover the rest of it. So welcome to Telugu cinema. That I guess I have to say that to you in some ways. Yes. Are you going to do more films? I mean, sure. Back if, in Telugu. If if the audience would like me to, sure. Awesome. Thank you.